Okay, it's time for the half of the video where we just do uh, uh, the GitHub stuff. Um, GitHub.com. Uh, so, to do the GitHub stuff, you're gonna have to <laughs> you're gonna have to create a little account on GitHub, and you'll see it. It's by the thing that looks like the duck. It's uh, the login button, upper right corner. Just click the login, and then she. Gosh, do sign up and pricing. Sorry, it's a big green button. All right, <laughs> um, and over here you got a free account waiting for you to click it. So now create your free personal account. Just type in a username. Uh, the coolest name I can think of is Gas is whoa, is Uber cool. Let's spell cool better. There we go. Gas is Uber cool, and we're gonna type in an email address. Um, I hate the way Windows does things now. And of course, being the private guy that I am, I'm not going to show you what my uh, email address is, but get an email address in the second line. Type in a password. The most secretive uh, password I can think of is password. And we're going to choose a number. Uh, I want it to be three. So password three shall be our password. I'm going to create that account. And... Oh, there was a problem creating your account. Password doesn't match the confirmation. I must be high. All right, password three. Okay, let's <laughs> hit create an account. Wow, you don't even need an, a, an email. Jeez, this is too wild. All right, so now you're in GitHub. Here's your little GitHub. You, you use your home page, and you got a picture of a share squid. Um, and uh, you want to click. We're going to make a new repository because that's where you put your code. Uh, the problem is I can't show you that exactly because of screen real estate. Okay, so here's all of your repositories. If you scroll down on your home page, you get there by clicking there. You want to click here, new repository, and just call it the coolest name you can think of at the time. I'm going to go with, oh, sweet, it's in my copy buffer. Gas is uber cool. Um, and we're not going to describe it or anything, and it's going to be available to anyone. That's a good idea. Trust me. Just make it available to everyone. Now, here's the trick to upload to your GitHub account. Let's get into uh -oh. make der dev cd dev. Uh, let's just create make der. Uh, guess is uber cool. All right, we're making a project. Okay, let me rephrase that. So, so here's what we're going to do. GitHub repositories are for storing code. Let's create one on the local machine. Although we've set up a nice little space on GitHub, on the internet. Well, I just ran up the stairs and then back down. And I'm completely winded because, well, because of the sweets. <laughs> That's what it does it to you. Now, um... So, what I just said goes double, and we're going to start producing some code. And I'm going to make just like a hello world um, uh, in Ruby, because, you know, it's one of the finer languages. So, bi, hello, uh, pff, no, let's just call it main.rv. <laughs> you can name it whatever you want, guys, just... All right, so let's do it. Um, here's a no. Let's just. All right, I have variable z. Okay, that's gonna be difficult to replicate that spelling, but Ruby. Okay, puts hello world of. Oh uh, shoot! Let's just put it in the thing. You know what I mean? The thing? Yeah, well, the thing. Whoa. Okay. I was able to reproduce it. Um, okay, so let's test that out. Uh, we'll type Ruby main.rb and we'll see. Hello, world of Ruby. Cool. We're officially programmers now. <laughs> Glad that's over with. Um, but we're not quite there yet. We need to make a git repository on the local machine. So git init will initialize a blank repository. 
git add, uh, dat, that'll add everything in the folder. The dat means folder contents, even recursively. Um, and then git uh, com commit dash m of uh, initial commit. Okay, now we've made our first git repository and we've loaded it up with that uh, that little uh, code and now we want to upload it. Now to upload it we need to do git add origin uh oh Oh, and you can refresh your memory by looking right at the GitHub website. And, oh, jeez, I did everything wrong. So do git, git remote add, da, because add would do that other thing. Um, remote add origin, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm struggling here with just a little bit of dyslexia there. Um, git add github.com I want to say slash I was completely wrong uh, colon uh, let's see if that's still in the copy buffer good deal it is then we'll do a slash gassy super cool git okay and then we hit enter and hopefully I didn't do typo Hopefully, if you're following along, you'll use logic and actually copy and paste that. Uh, I didn't do that. So, now we want to get push dash u origin master, okay? We didn't do this stuff up here, but I'll, I'll explain why. Um, oh, I hate Windows. All right, look, get push dash u origin. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, now we hit enter and lo and behold we have an well we hit we say yeah. We have a bit of an error. Uh, permission denied, public key. Apparently it's got a problem with our public keys. Yeah, they added a cool complication to GitHub, which makes it more difficult. You have to go into the settings and do these things, but not anymore. Now you install a gem called gas. It's uber cool. 